Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Roman, and today I'm going to be showcasing the best hardware ID spoofer to get you unhardware ID banned from Rust. So, if you are getting messages like this when trying to load into Rust, that means that you are hardware ID banned, and that is very unfortunate as there are only two ways to fix this issue. The first way is to go ahead and buy yourself a new computer for about a thousand to two thousand dollars which is very expensive and not ideal at all and the second option is to go ahead and buy yourself a new hardware id spoofer from orocheats.net for the very cheap price starting at twenty four dollars ninety nine cents for a one time spoofer and sixty eight dollars and eighty eight cents for a lifetime spoofer now if you guys plan on cheating in the future definitely invest in a lifetime spoofer as you guys can use it as many times as you want forever and if you guys plan on or if you just had a one-time moment where you cheated a uh, one-time spoofer is definitely the way to go i would definitely recommend getting one time as it is cheaper and it works 100 percent of the time no delay ban you don't have to worry about any of that and it is the most trusted spoofer on the market now um, I would always get the lifetime regardless because you never know in the future you might change your mindset and cheat in the future but yeah the lifetime is probably better option all right anyways if you guys uh, go over here you guys can go ahead and check out some of the payment methods that they accept they have cryptocurrency they have debit or credit card and they also have like Apple pay and Google pay if you press on this one so if you guys are looking to pay using those payment methods this website has all of those payment methods but if you don't have any of those payment methods and you want to do something like sell you could join the, the discord server also linked in the description below and make a ticket contact us create a ticket and ask them if they have any payment methods that you require they also have some information that is very useful in the discord server so if you want you have to you should definitely join uh, they have some information like what games it works on. It works on all of these games, not just Rust, but all of these games right here. They also have some services right here, and they have some prices right here. They also have some frequently asked questions. So if you guys are asking any questions, maybe you could visit this page and it might answer your question. And then it also has some news. So if they ever have some announcements like updates, it's going to be here. And if you guys do purchase the spoofer or anything on their website, you could just get the roll by putting your invoice number right here, and then you will get the customer roll. And yeah, guys, uh, let's actually get to the part where we spoof. Enough talking about how to spoof or whatever. Let's actually get to the part where we do it. You know? Okay. So what you want to do is run as administrator the spoofer. It's going to ask you for your license key, and you get that from purchasing from the website. All you do is just enter in the license key, press remember me. Now it is loading, and then all you want to do is just press spoof. Wait one or two minutes. Alrighty guys, we have officially hardware ID spoofed, so now it is asking us to reboot our device, otherwise known as restart our device. So. Um, let's we're gonna check the device if the serials actually changed after we restart a computer so just exit out of this and let's restart alrighty guys uh, we have just officially restarted our computer so now we can just open up the spoofer again and check if our serials have officially changed so just log in using your license key Okay, and then you just press device, and then it's going to show you that everything has been changed. Only the GPU hasn't been changed, but that's because we didn't click on the option to change it. You guys can rewind the video if you want to double check that, but I'm 100% sure we didn't press it. And that's why it didn't change. And yeah, guys, uh, as you guys can see, we are officially unhardware ID banned from Rust. So, this means that you can go ahead and play the game without getting any of those annoying hardware id ban messages so thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you check out aurachiefs.net today and get yourself on hardware id banned from rust and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching